Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So gate exam is quite near. You are roughly having 10 to 15 days for exam and uh, you must be preparing hard for it. You must be doing the best from your side for this. I just thought of making this video to share a few things about it. Uh, the things that could be done in these 10 to 15 days so that you can get the best out of yourself and so that you can score better marks in the exam, right? So this video is going to be about that. I'm going to talk about few things which uh, people do and few things which you should avoid doing right so everything on in this particular video will be about what you should do and secondly most important thing will be about test series uh, especially if you're not getting good marks in test series because i know i have seen students getting demotivated within these final days of exam and they are not getting good marks in test series so we'll be talking about all that in detail so stay tuned for this particular video also, if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing it. All right, so I'll start from this because I know there are a lot of students who are there and who are giving test series first of all it's very important to give test series okay it's very important to give full length mock test or full length test series before the gate exam or before any competitive exam for which you are preparing so since we are talking about gate exam so it's very important for you to give a mock test first of all now in case if you have not given mock test yet please please do give it in the next few days because if you are waiting for the last one week or if you are waiting for last four or five days that will be too late for that okay why is it i'll tell you in the up, in the upcoming part of the video okay so you have to you should have already started giving mock test in case if you have not given please do start it at least give five mock test because at least if you give five mock test or more than five in that case you get to know a lot of things about your preparation you get to know a lot of things about where you are doing mistakes and all and then the chances of improving it then the chances of working on it uh, comes right so firstly i'll be talking to those who are getting good marks in test series see you don't have to become overconfident with that first of all okay because this test series is not your exact exam it is often seen that it depends upon the test series basically because there are so many people they, there are so many platform which provide you test series every platform has their own criteria of selecting questions they put up question from their own side so it is not necessary that the questions which are uh, there are going to be asked in gate exam or basically the level of test series which they are giving is going to match with the exam secondly it is quite possible that if in the test series uh, the questions are asked from your strong point in that case you must be performing good and you are getting good marks it is not necessary that in the gate exam also you are going to get the same so you don't have to become overconfident with that i have seen people getting overconfident with it and uh, in the exam when they don't get good marks they say that in the test series i was getting good marks why i didn't get, got in the exam that is purely because in the test series questions were from your strong points in the gate exam it's not like that okay so that is one thing which is very important to know now if you are not getting good marks in the test series again you don't have to get demotivated because of that because there are chances that the questions which were asked are from your uh, from the those topics which you are not that good at right but you can consider that particular information which you have got from the test series and you can work upon that okay so that's where the second part of this video is going to be what exactly you should do in these uh, 10 to 15 days which are left for the exam so there are two most important things which you have to do one is to retain and the second thing is to improve okay so retain and improve these are two most important things which you have to do in the rest few days so what is what basically you have to retain so retain means whatever you are good at what is your strong point what topics you have studied well those topics in which you are good at you are able to solve questions you are not doing much mistakes over there those are the topics which you have to retain in your mind this particular exam is not about a lot of information or it's not about completing the syllabus or studying everything it's more about retaining whatever you have studied uh, it is often seen that someone who has studied or completed the syllabus but has not retained the things that person struggles in performing good but someone who has retained someone let's say has studied only 60 percent of the syllabus or 70 percent of the syllabus if he is able to retain that that person performs much better than the others so it's very important to retain whatever you have studied how you will retain that you will retain that by continuous revision by 
uh, systematic revision by revising from your short notes by revising from your uh, whatever notes you have made so that is going to be the most important thing in these days you don't have to worry about new topics you don't have to worry about new things now instead of that you have to think about uh, whatever you have studied you have to retain that and you don't have to miss that you don't have to forget those things okay see our mind works like this if you don't revise something now and that that too if it's not that important if it is not something uh, which is uh, you know which is used day-to-day -day life in the day-to-day -day life chemistry what you study you're not going to use that daily right but for the exam it is very important so you have to revise that in a cyclic manner so that you can keep reminding yourself that i have to remember this thing and then only your brain or your mind is going to keep that data for you and you are going to like you know you will be able to uh, solve or you are you will be able to perform with that data in the exam okay so that's just a general thing which you should know so first thing is to retain whatever you have studied instead of gathering more information instead of gathering more topics or, or reading more topics it's more important to retain what you have studied okay second important thing is to improve is to do the improvement and how this improvement will come this will come as i said with the help of test series so whatever you did in the test series if let's say you have given four or five or six test series after that you will be able to see and uh, it's a good practice that while giving the test series itself you should do that but in case let's say you, were, you haven't done that open your test series again see which portion you are doing mistake what are those topics where you are doing mistake it is very 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 important to learn from your mistakes and that's what people ignore generally okay that's where i always emphasize on that self-analysis is very important for any exam so considering this gate exam it is again very important to self-analyze and your test series are going to be your mirror for that okay so if you have given test series open that see which portion you are doing mistake which portion which topic you are doing continuous mistake which was the thing which were which you already studied but you were not able to answer that question or something which you have studied but you were not able to solve that question try to understand why you were not able to do that maybe you forget that formula or maybe it was like you were not able to apply that or maybe you were not able to understand the question so you have to now work upon that particular thing that you should not forget the formula in exam you should not uh, be able to you know get confused with the question in exam so these things are the thing where you have to improve now so for the rest of the days whatever days it are 10 or 15 depends upon when you are watching this video so depending upon that you have to work upon these very crucial things uh, retain and improve upon that okay and test series are very important i guess all of you already know and before test series i hope previous years questions and all you have already done so if you are done with all these things no need for no need to worry about completing 100 percent of your syllabus no need to study more and more topics it's more important now to retain the things it's more important to look upon your mistakes it's more important to improve upon them and that is going to work for you in the exam all right so these were some things which i wanted to discuss with you because i thought that many people lack upon these things in the final days of exam i just thought of making this video thank you so much for watching and if you want to add some point you can add that in the comment section below and if you have certain question you can ask that in the comment section below again i'll try to answer you over there itself so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care